Good morning, babes. Uh, babes, it's the day after my birthday. And I found this article this morning about Megan Good. And it says, actress Megan Good, Megan Good still feeling lost and dealing with sadness following divorce announcement last year. And so I wanted to read that over for you and kind of chit chat in the comments about it. I do think she is one of those young women who got caught up in the shift. I think Megan Good and Devon Franklin, uh, the Reverend Reverend Devon Franklin is a perfect example of not getting married for all of the wrong reasons. Listen, you have to get married for the right reasons, okay? You Because the reason why you get married is your foundation. That's what's going to keep you together. When you're fighting and you're arguing and stuff happen outside of cheating, abuse, and abandonment, and babies out of wedlock, personally, I believe anything can be worked through if both people work together to make it happen. And this is another reason why I believe in continual counseling. Going to a counselor doesn't mean something is wrong. Okay. You go to get your physical every year. It doesn't mean you're wrong. It's just making sure something is wrong. It's just making sure that you're checking on, you're checking up, you're keeping up and so on and so forth. 40 year old ladies, you know, we go get the boobs checked just to make sure there ain't nothing there, ain't nothing going on, and stuff like that. And so, you know, I feel like our marriage should be like everything else, or teeth, or eyes. I'm getting ready to call my doctor. Doctor, I think I need glasses. Okay, because last time I went, I said, Doc, I brought the Bible. I say, I need glasses. He said, I wear glasses and I can't see that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately, I think Megan got caught up in the shift, not knowing what was going on, and people feel like she thought that she could find something better than the, the good reverend doctor with his good looking self. Okay, and no, we do not know exactly what happened in their marriage, but we can read the tea leaves. And so I want to read this article for you, and then we can talk about it in the comments. I want to thank you for those of you who hang with my one hour birthday party last night. Becky, I'm wearing this. My bought me this last year. I don't think I ever wore it. Um, it's a sweatsuit, but uh, pants, I don't know. It's a little tight. You know, I've gained a few pounds, and I need to lose it, okay, before I go to my physical uh, <laughs> by the end of the month, okay? <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. If you didn't hang out with me, go on that live. I shared my new book cover that is coming out very very soon i share the title that's coming out very very soon so if you didn't see that go ahead and see that and also remember please man please sir please be sure to subscribe thumbs up i didn't get to my nineteen thousand cars but i think youtube is playing for with me because my numbers haven't moved and the last four videos i did didn't even hit 500 but that's okay okay that's how youtube work we gonna keep going and we gonna get to our nineteen thousand. and you never know hopefully perfectly by the end of the year that's my i'm I'm claim it in Jesus name by the end of the year I will get to my 20,000 so I can start building on my other channels so I absolutely love you and adore you thank you for all the cash apps uh I'm gonna buy me some today okay I don't know what yeah but I'm thinking about it but I'm gonna buy me something okay so I really appreciate the love and the support so this article by uh Ma Megan Good and um I do have a Megan Good and Devon Franklin playlist basically if you didn't watch those let me just give you the foundation is she she saw she was in an abusive relationship and she saw him and she said wow I would like to have somebody like that then she said God said Devon was supposed to be the friend her him so when she told Devon, Devon said, oh, no, God didn't speak that to me. And Devon said, uh-uh, she's an actress. She's small. She ain't really safe. And, and plus, I'm not even ready to be married. I'm not looking for a wife right now. She kept pressing him, pressing him. And then he said, God said, I'm going to give you everything uh, you don't want. Because Megan was everything he didn't want. So he said, God said, he going to give him everything he didn't want. Lex? Lex? Come here, Lex. We going to check the scripture with Sister Lex, Pastor Lex. Okay. And so when he said that, I said, no, sir, you're lying. Because that don't, the Bible does not support that. The Bible is very clear about the wife being the crown to her husband. In other words, she is his decorations. The Bible is clear about being not unequally yoked with unbelievers. The Bible is clear. Lexi, come here, Lexi. 
So I want I want you I want to know what the Bible says. Somebody said somebody said God she he he uh God gave him a wife and the wife is everything he did not ask for. What the Bible say about about that? What the Bible say? Ask. Ask and it shall be given. Go ahead. Seek. Um, Seek and you shall, shall find. find. Knock. Knock. And the door shall, shall be open. Thank you, Sister Pastor Sister Lexi. So you see, Sister Pastor Sister Lexi confirmed the word that the Bible says, Ask and you shall receive, seek, you shall find, knock, and the door shall be open. So we know the Reverend, good Reverend Franklin, was not hearing from the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He was listening to the God of his deep. Then they got married, and she says she didn't know she was supposed to cook for him. And they had to go to counseling so he could tell her, I want you to cook for me. And I'm like, what was y'all talking about when y'all was dating? I'm just giving you the summary, okay? And then there was the issue with the kids, girl. At 35, she froze her eggs. You a married woman, you'll be married for four or five years, and you're going to freeze your eggs at 35. And so the good Reverend Line Dr. Franklin said that, you know what, I'm just going to give her her time to have her process. Well, the process she should have been having was before they got married. Because when you get married, it's not the time for you to figure out, does she cook, does she not want to cook? Does she want to have kids, does she not want to have kids? Those are questions you ask before you get married. And that is a part of the data gathering stages. There are some people, I believe, having a baby is innate. Getting married is innate. But there's a very, very small percentage of women who don't want to get married or who don't want to have kids, okay? And the ladies, if you don't want to have kids and men because of trauma, then you are not in the 0.000.1% of women and men who don't want to have kids. Did I catch you up to speed? Are you up to speed? Okay, say the praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. So Devon went ahead and filed for divorce right before the 10 year, and you know, 10 years and no babies? No, sir, and we know with the Lord Jesus Christ in the, in the born again family home, your responsibility is to get married and have babies and raise up a new generation for the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get it? amen? So now we are here. And the good sister, first lady, actress Megan Good, says she uh, feeling so lost and deal with the sadness following the divorce. Now, let me say this. Divorce is hard. Divorce is hard. You Do you want to understand what divorce is? Imagine. I don't think you can imagine. <clears throat> imagine somebody pulling a limb from your body. That's what divorce is. Divorce is like somebody pulling one of your limbs out with no medicine. I saw that on the Serpent Queen where they tie the man between four horses, one arm on the, and they, the horses pull him apart. That's what divorce is. This is why we don't marry people we shouldn't marry. This is why we don't get married with all the red flag. And this is why we don't marry for the wrong reasons. We need to get married for the right reasons. And we need to make sure that foundation is sure and right. Let me tell you, baby, I, Sister Jean Hilton, would have preferred to stay by myself and have peace than to marry wrong and marry the devil. Because the devil wants to destroy your life. He wants to destroy destroy marriage. He is fighting against marriage. And every time a born again Christian couple get married, it's a black eye to the body of Christ. Because you know what they say, divorce is worse in the church than it is in the world. So we see this is a first lady, Megan, make it good. And this is uh, by uh, Des the Daily Report 71. They are a very good, good, good writer. Whoever is writing these articles is very, very good. I love the way they write. Megan, I tried to give the black people, you know, the credit. Megan is entering act two of her life. The actress is entering her 41st year around the sun and is making a few reflections, starting with her recent divorce from Devon Franklin. A few days shy of her August 8th birthday, good took to Instagram to share her feelings. She's very pretty. Oh, I love that suit, girl. I would definitely wear I might have one like that. Um, the Los Angeles born actress uploaded two stunning photos of her in a dark sweatsuit and luscious locks. Megan Gook recalled that as she was journeying toward her 40th birthday, she was completely unaware just in just that in just a few weeks, 
her life was about to change dramatically once viewed as married goals for many couples, not mean they were, they shouldn't have got married. Megan Good and Devon Franklin shocked the world when multiple news reports began to state that they were headed for divorce. There's no one at fault. And then couple provided a statement to people. The couple had been married for almost a decade before making the decision in 20 and 21. To Megan's good point, the couple celebrated their wedding anniversary just six months before the divorce announcement was made. Although they could not make it work, they continued to describe their time together as life-changing years. Yeah, yeah, life-changing, girl. U.S. Uh, Weekly reports that the divorce between Megan Good and her former husband was finalized by June. Additionally, neither will pay spousal support, and the rest of their settlement was handled privately. That's good. Um, I, I, you know, all this drag out stuff in the courts is no good. De uh, now that the divorce is finalized, Megan Good shares that she feels strong mostly, but still lost at times. The Harlem actress added that she is still healing, still having moments of sadness and trying to figure out God's plan, knowing all that he did. Despite feeling the whirlwind of emotions, Megan Good declares that she maintains a great deal of faith and insists she is placing her complete trust in God, but that doesn't halt the grief that, cre that creeps in momentarily. However, the actress states she chooses to be thankful for everything even things that hurt. In addition, Good provided an encouraging words to her followers that relate to her situation. There is life and life more abundantly as we walk it out, continued Megan Good. She continued to paint a glorious picture of joy and happiness, maintaining a spirit that lights is indeed at the end of the tunnel. In recent rumors, are, if recent rumors are true, there may be a reason for Megan Good's new for happiness. Social media speculation was at an all-time high when Battle Rapper Disaster recently posted photos of the two and asked followers how mad they were. But unfortunately, the news didn't seem to sit well with many. So, son, tell me Megan Good ain't messing with Battle Rapper D Disaster. Please tell me it ain't true. One user uh, reacted. Another equip equipped. Megan go literally went from pastor to disaster. <laughs> that was good. Um, and then I saw an article recently that she's dating some 28 year old guy. I didn't do the the thing because we know that's you know you know what that's for. Okay, we know that's for. So I want to know what you think. I think she was she called up. First of all, they they got married and they should not have gotten married. That's number one. Okay, so when people was happy for them getting married, I was like, that's not gonna work out. They're not, they, they don't, it don't, it don't work. Um, and so I was a surprise. I was a move. I was like, okay, well, we knew it was kind of coming. If you, if you in the spirit, and if you really understand and read God's word, then you understand when people say stuff that's, that's not scripturally, scripturally right. And of course, anybody can get a divorce. My husband could get up tomorrow morning and, and say, Janice, I don't want to be married to you anymore. He can do that. And, um, you know, so every married couple can possibly get a divorce. But there are some marriages you're like, girl, no, why did you do it? You shouldn't have done it. Anyways, let me know what you think. I have to run. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, share this out if you can. And let's chat in the comments. Remember to sign up for Janice Hilton Mentoring. Uh, and, of course, remember my books on Amazon to leave me reviews. I have to check my reviews. I haven't checked them in the last uh, day or two. So be sure to check my review, my books on Amazon and leave reviews for me. Love you, my beloved. Talk to you later. Bye.